KGUN 9 on your side first warning weather with Chief Meteorologist Aaron Christensen. Do we have any winter visitors from Indiana in the house? Check out this mess. Indianapolis, I-65, uh, causing quite a bit of uh, problems there in the roads. They've had up to 20 inches of snow in some places, and this storm system that's hitting the Midwest and the east is being called Polar Vortex. Round two, nearly 3,000 flights have been delayed nationwide because of the snowstorm, and 1,000 flights for tomorrow have already been called off, already canceled. You know, you think about five to eight inches of snow, that's plowable, but when you're talking 10, 15, 20 inches worth of snow, uh, you know, the plows run, they get one good pass through, and the snow already covers the roads uh, once again. Want to give you a look at our satellite and radar. The storm system here along the East Coast, believe it or not, is actually going to strengthen our warming trend across the West. Now, they've been dealing with the snow, the rain, the ice, the sleet, the whole wintry mix of precipitation there, but that heaviest band of snow now moving offshore with that area of low pressure this evening and in its place, the really bitter cold air begins to settle in single digit temperatures for parts of the Midwest and the eastern seaboard by tomorrow and their loss honestly is our gain uh, to kind of look at it that way. This polar vortex number two or part two, if you will, as that plunges deeper to the southeast, you're having an equal yet opposite reaction across the west. So this is pushing farther down to the southeast as our high pressure is strengthening across the west northwest. So our temperatures are only warming as the temps across the east are cooling. In fact, 78 degrees our high today in Tucson. Temperatures well above normal across southern Arizona. 65 Wilcox, 77 Casa Grande, Phoenix in the 80s today. We're now down to 71 in Tucson, 58 for Oracle, 59 Wilcox. But that high of 78 putting us well above our 66 degree average. Average. That's where we should be. Our 30 year average, you hear me refer to it as the norm. We should be at just 66. We were a lot closer to that 81 degree record. By the way, with those clouds that are starting to roll in this evening, you might have some difficulty spotting the constellation Montosaurus. But if you do, it's worth the look because the Montosaurus unicorn constellation is kind of an elusive one. You don't get to see it all that often. Uh, only visible in the winter skies here in southern Arizona. And if you can spot Orion, it's going to be just below that. If you're out and about still at about midnight or you want to check out our moon, you'll be able to see the red planet Mars just below it uh, and just to the north of the star Spica, which is right along the horizon. Those clouds continue to stick around for our day tomorrow. In fact, partly sunny skies, and that actually means more clouds than sun for us. 76 for a high, 74 back to sunny on Thursday, but then Friday down to 69 degrees with more clouds rolling in. So a couple of rounds of cloud cover and wind, the wind returning Friday as well. We'll take the clouds. That's as worse as it gets, as bad as it gets. As bad as it gets, bad. Well, we'll deal with that, right? Thanks, Aaron. Arizona back.